Everybody knows what they know. They used to have a precious world, and a lot of heroes. However, I am not just a villain. I'm not just a baddie. I'm almost extinct to this world. I have conquered the world so much, so many times. I will not lose this time. The more time went by, the more powerful I got. This is the limit. My power is keeping me alive and I won't forget my power. This is the plot of Bond world. This world has no superheroes. Everyone is fake. Everyone is controlled by me. Run while you still can. -na 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 -na. I... Hello, what's going on? Why is my mouth not opening? You're in my world. I... Mommy, wait, I'm sorry. Darling, it's too late. No it isn't. I need you to help me. Please, I need your mommy. Mom, I'm serious. I keep having strange dreams. Do you know what's happening to me? Jason. I need to tell you something. Mommy, no. Mom. I am not your mother. No, you're lying. You are my mother. Jason, listen to me. I don't believe you. Look at me, Jason. Do you think you can hide from the truth? Do you really remember where you came from? I came from you. Tell the truth, Jason. Make me. Ra -ra 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 -ra. Mommy. You're in my world, Jason. No, I am not. Ah, always the quiet ones. Leave me alone. Where's my mother? Jason, I am your mother. But you just said you weren't my mother. Why are you even here? What's happening? You don't understand, Jason. You're too young to believe this. What am I too young to believe? Go on, tell me. Jason. Yeah? I saw some sweets and snacks in the other room. So I decided to give you some sweets. What about the snacks? Already ran out of snacks, now here. Take these sweets. You earned them. Wow, really? You deserve them, darling. Mommy's very proud of her abomination son. Mommy, I don't know what to say. You're too kind. Ah, oh, here, give Mommy a hug. I, I... Don't worry, Jason. You're a good boy. Oh, I love you, Mommy. Five. Huh. Four. What are you doing? Three. No, stop. Two. One. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could swear that this room has been running out of air and now it's starting to spin. You make me feel kind of bad, kind of good, kind of everything, yet it doesn't feel like it should. You make me feel kind of wrong. Is that me? No way, that can't be me. Oh, it's me. What are you doing? What are you so happy about? Do you know who I am, Jason? What are you talking about? I'm the real Jason. You're just a faker. Here, keep this note in your pocket. It will help you for later. What does it say? Zoo. What is that supposed to mean? You will find out in episode 200. How long will that be? I can't tell you. I don't want to spoil the plan. 
What? You're behind this too. Take a good look at yourself, Jason. You're not acting like yourself. That's not true. I just feel worried about this plan you're behind. But Jason, just remember, I'm your future self. Then why does it feel like my life is ending? Because Jason, you are a future hero to us all. I already sacrificed myself, and I turned out fine. Then I found my true mother. What about your true father? My father is something else. He looks like a furious abomination. Does that sound familiar? You mean that red guy? Of course. He's that red monster you met. Hold on. How did you know I met him? Because Jason, I'm you from the future. My job is to protect you from danger. Keep in mind Jason, I went through all this before. And then I found my true mother and father. And now they are sharing my universe equally. Wait a minute. So right now my real parents are arguing with each other. Hey, everything is going to be okay. Good luck Jason. The world needs you. Helena. Gonzalo. Is everything okay? I noticed our son woke up earlier. Oh honey, you don't want to know. Helena, talk to me. I told him the truth. After all these years, after my promises, after the fun memories, I finally told him, we aren't his real parents. What did he say Helena? He thought all of this was a joke. He just denied the truth. And he looked really upset. The only choice I had was to tell him. Otherwise we would get kicked out of the galaxy and people may think we're criminals because we're protecting another alien. And aliens usually stay with their true parents. I didn't want you and I to get kicked out of the galaxy. I was trying to prove myself right. By making myself sound wrong. Honey, why didn't you tell him sooner? Because Jason had to wait for 10 years for me to tell him the truth. That's what the government says. Oh, honey. You trusted me not to worry about the government so often. But I didn't trust you. I'm so oh 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 sorry. If I ever get the opportunity to work things out with him, then we won't have to worry. Gonzalo, I love you. Mom. Jason, I'm really sorry about what I told you before. I was trying to hide the truth otherwise you would be too young to understand. But I know you're old enough to understand. You just told me all of this today. I will try to keep all of this short. To start off, aliens can't become parents, because they aren't as smart as humans. On the moon we don't have enough food. And so that's why your real mother is human. Wait a minute. So that monster was my father, and not my mother. Exactly. And the plot Argon world is the reason why, a monster and human, make up an alien. Um, what's plot Argon? Helen, whatever you do, you must promise. Not to tell Jason about Plot Argon. It's just a fake world inside a phone app. All of this is fake Helen. This is just an imagination. But remember Helen, I come from the future. And everything has a happy ending. My parents told me about this fake world and I was upset. But I was brave enough to understand. That might not be the same with the other Jason Doe. Mama. Oh sorry, what was your question again? What is Plotagon? Oh, well. It's another galaxy. Another galaxy. You heard that right. It's a galaxy full of moons, but scientists have yet to make up names for those moons. Can I travel to the next galaxy? I wouldn't call this a galaxy. But are you talking about the Earth? Down there. Whoa, the Earth looks even more exciting. I wish I could visit Earth. 
Well have I got good news for you. Ever since your real mother left, everyone had a nervous breakdown. Everyone had a hard time hunting for food on the moon's surface. And our true father is taking over the moon. Wait a minute, everyone, our father, so this means. Exactly. Not only is a human and monster your real parents, but they are everyone's real parents. All the aliens on the moon were born from the same parents. Also, according to the government, aliens are not allowed to look after young aliens for long periods of time. This is considered as crime, because our real parents haven't returned yet, but it's okay to shortly care for them. That's insane. Now Jason, this is the part where I really want you to pay attention. You must listen very carefully. Aye aye captain. Jason. Okay okay, I'm sorry, I'm listening. Anyways, earlier today there was some news spreading around the world. People on Earth has found our real mother and only one alien should sacrifice themselves from their home to find our mother. Why does it have to be one alien? Because Jason. Only one alien on every moon is confident, brave, and mature. One alien is thoughtful, positive, and never gives up. Jason. The moon needs you. Mum, I'm only 10. Do you really think of me like a hero? That's because you are a hero, Jason. You always care for everyone. You have a big heart. And you're very respected. You wouldn't mind sacrificing your home to save everyone, would you? I really am a hero. And I want to save you all. Jason, that's the spirit. I never give up and I always care for everyone. I must do what I have to do. Jason, that's amazing. And I won't let anything get in my way. Now we're talking. Okay boss, the kid is ready to go. Wow, he wants to leave so soon. Okay then, tell the other employees and get ready. Okay then your majesty. All right Jason, I finished putting your suit on. Are you nervous? Dad, I am not nervous. I am a hero, I'm doing this for you. I love you so much, son. I love you too, Dad. He's not going to make it, is he? Helena, he is brave enough to sacrifice himself. So I won't stop him, even if I want to. Does everyone else know about this? Only Marco's team knows about this. You're talking about that red abomination. Are you? Uh huh. All systems are go. Perfect. The boss will be very happy with this. You betcha. All right. I just opened up the portal to Earth. Let's finish this. It's all finished. The kid is strapped in a suit. Amazing. Now, let's do this. Without a parachute. Wait, what? 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25. Did you seriously forget to give him a parachute? No, 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 no. What have I done? 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19. He is going to die if you don't do something. Quickly, follow me. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Goodbye, sweetie. Make mommy proud. I'm going to miss your mommy. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Guys. We're here. I'll push the button. Jason, if you don't make it, I just want to say, you were the best son I ever had. Five. Goodbye, mommy. Goodbye, Jason. You mean the universe to me. Four. Three. Press the button already. Wait, I need to scratch my legs. Two. Let me do it. No, it's my job, so I have to do it. One. Why? Jason. He was so brave. He is such a true hero. Look what you just did. Now the kid is going to die because of you. I was just doing my job. Get out, now. Okay boss, the kid is finally gone. Very impressive. Say, 
What happened to your teammate? He forgot to give the kid a parachute. So I removed him from the team. Your teammate forgot to give the kid a parachute. And you removed him from your team? Of course I did. Hang on. Is the kid wearing a parachute right now? No he isn't. My useless teammate forgot to give him one. So I removed him. Get out Philip. But sir. That was my bestest employee. And you pushed him off the team. Now I'm doing the same to you. Now go. Boss, I didn't mean. I say go. At least the kid doesn't have a parachute.